Hello everybody, it's me Lego Matron Founder 3 coming at you with another Lego City review. And today we'll be taking a look at the Space Moon Buggy, set 3365. This set is part of the Lego City Space sub theme. It was recommended to ages 5 through 12. This set contains 37 pieces. It features one minifigure. This set was released in 2011 and it originally retailed for $4.99 US dollars but I purchased this set recently for four euros and 95 cents and surprisingly I found this set in a shop a shop in which I would have never expected them to sell Lego products and I found this in a shop in which they sell magazines and magazines with cheap plastic toys included and other things and this was in the shop and when I saw it I told myself I needed to get it so I did and on the box here you have the price tag and it says that it was for a special price Anyway, first we'll look at the box. There's a look at the front. You have the picture of the set itself and a bit of the main information. Here's a look at the top of the box, showing you the actual size of the minifigure. Here's a look at the side of the box, showing you another picture of the set itself. Here's a look at the bottom, showing you where the components are made. And they're made in Denmark, Hungary, Mexico, and the Czech Republic. This side of the box shows absolutely nothing but the Lego logo and the set number. And here's a look at the back of the box. Nothing too special, just says, Warning, choking hazard, small parts in multiple languages. So, I'll unbox this set and I'll show you what the space moon buggy holds. I've unboxed this set and we'll find out what's inside. Looks like we get a small bag for the smaller parts, a 2x8 plate, and another small bag for some of the larger pieces. We also get an instruction manual. So, I'll put this thing together and I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back and here's what the Space Moon Buggy looks like when built. But first, we'll look at the minifigure. As you can see, it's an astronaut and it's wearing a blue baseball cap a white outfit with double-sided printing featured and dark gray gloves. We'll first take a closer look at the torso printing and I must say it looks fantastic. Lego put lots of great detail into the printing of the torso and it just looks great. I really like the silver touches Lego added and I really like that logo on the top there looks very familiar actually. Here's a look at the back printing of the torso. Again you have some of the silver touches featured and some more great details featured as well. When the baseball cap is removed you can of course have a better view of the face. And you can see that the minifigure's got a square jawed face with brown eyebrows featured. With the set you also have the astronaut's helmet featured with it and with this white piece here you have the different details molded with the piece such as the oxygen tanks as seen here and you have the golden visor featured as well. So there's a look at the minifigure itself Okay, now we're going to look at the Space Moon Buggy, and here it is in its 
full entirety. So you have the six wheels, which roll nice and smooth. You have the steering wheel, which is an essential detail. Behind that, you have this spot where you can fit the minifigure, as seen here. Behind that, you have a small area where you can place the astronaut's helmet, and it just fits perfectly, as seen here. And it's a nice feature. On the back, you have this digger, which is an essential detail for the space moon buggy. And it's interesting how it's made up of these robotic arm pieces, this droid torso, and this chainsaw piece. The digger rotates over 180 degrees, as seen here. From this point, the digger can rotate like this. And from this point, the digger can also rotate like this. Here you have the radar communication dish, which is very simple, and you can rotate it 360. And the way that features achieved is in this brick right here you have the studs which are hollow and this allows you to place the radar dish there. So that's a nice feature but there's a look at the space moon buggy. And so there you have it the Lego space moon buggy set 3365 Overall, this is a nice little set, and as what other YouTubers say, they'll say that the minifigure is the strength of this set, and I'm going to have to agree. In fact, this is the only way you can get a hold of the minifigure for a cheap price. The moon buggy has a neat design to it and features some of the essential details one requires. This set is also a good resource for these modified red plates as seen here because before 2011 those pieces had only appeared in one set released in 1998 and that was set 6089. I also really like the fact that you have a few facts about space featured in the instruction manual. That's a great feature and tells you some facts that you may not know. One of them is the first song performed in space was Happy Birthday, a fact I didn't know. I won't say all of these facts, but um, there's my review on the set. So I hope you've enjoyed this review, and I'll see you in the next video.